Hello dear friends, Assalamu alaikum and welcome back. Friends, you know that we have started discussion about the human respiratory system. So on the screen you can see this was our first lecture, the introduction of the respiratory system, what is respiratory system, all these five definitions that I had discussed with you. And these were some functions of the respiratory system that it uh, is performing in our body. Now our next lecture, this one is about the parts of respiratory system. Now, I have divided the parts of respiratory system into two parts, the functional parts and the non-functional parts. And what does it mean by functional and non-functional? And then the next, in the, uh, next slide shows that there are two zones of the respiratory system. So let us go deep. Uh, first of all, the functional part of the respiratory system means that uh, this is, these, the, 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 these parts provide oxygen and removes carbon dioxide this is the functional part right it means that it shows the main function of respiratory system for which purpose the respiratory system has been made it is made for supply of oxygen and removal of carbon dioxide so that's why we say that it is the functional part Okay, then there are some non-functional parts of the respiratory system. For example, respiratory system also helps in sense of order, right? Then it also helps in sound production, means pronation. It also helps in coughing. It also helps in removal of foreign body, right? And it also provides protection to the body. So look carefully once again, what does it mean by functional part and non-functional part? Functional part means that the main function, the important function for the purpose for which the respiratory system has been made is present in the body. This is the main function that it provides oxygen for cellular respiration and it removes carbon dioxide from the body. This, these two are the main functions of the respiratory system then some other extra functions also is played by the respiratory system like sense of order like sound production like coughing like removal of foreign bodies and like protection so these are the some non-functional parts of the respiratory system in the next uh, slide we see that uh, zones of the respiratory system respiratory system has been divided into two zones the first one is the conducting zone and the second one is the respiratory zone. Conducting zone means those parts of the respiratory system which carries the gases. Which carries the respiratory gases, those are called the conducting zone. It means that if you follow the cursor of my uh, mouse, from here the gas will enter into the nasal cavity and then goes to the pharynx and then through the larynx and then the trachea and bronchi, bronchioles and low stage up to the alveoli right so these all parts are the conducting zones what i say that conducting zone conduct the respiratory gases conduct means it carries inside oxygen and brings back carbon dioxide so these parts are the conducting zones it provides path for incoming and outgoing gases right some functions of the conducting zone it provides path for oxygen and carbon dioxide. Yes, we know that. Oxygen and carbon dioxide are taken into a tubing system of the respiratory system. So those are called conducting parts. Conducting part also removes debris, right? It removes debris, you know, in the nasal cavity there are uh, hairs in the uh, you know in the uh, larynx and the pharynx there are mucous membranes in the trachea there are ciliated epithelial cells ciliated epithelial tissues and those tissues contain cilia and those cilia by their movement removes the debris from the respiratory system it removes it also removes pathogens okay then it warms the air you know in our uh, nose whatever uh, cool air we take and we inhale cold air but in the nasal cavity that cold air becomes hot As in order to not let the uh, cold air go inside the deep respiratory system which may cause damage to the tissues and cells that 
cold air so the conducting zone also warms the air it also humidifies the air uh, we know that in the nasal cavity the mucous membranes are wet because of mucus the larynx the pharynx are wet the trachea and bronchi have uh, contain wet surfaces so these wet surfaces humidify the air and uh, then another function also of the conducting zone is that it uh, provides a function for sense of orders uh, we know that in our nasal cavity there are sensory neurons for smell so smell detection is also part of the conducting zone of the respiratory system so i hope you got about the conducting zone then the real zone that is called the respiratory zone and what where is that present in the uh, in this picture you can see the respiratory zone is present deep inside the lungs what does it mean inside the lungs we have millions of alveoli right so these alveoli are the actual respiratory zones why because inside these alveoli there is the exchange of gases between the alveoli and the blood from the blood what enters the alveoli carbon dioxide enters diffuses into the alveoli and from the alveoli oxygen diffuses into the blood right so we say that the real respiratory zone where all the gaseous exchange occur that is present deep inside the lungs which contains alveolar ducts and alveoli and these this is the zone where the exchange of gases occur so i hope you understand the parts of the respiratory system functional parts and non functional parts right and the zones of the respiratory system which means the conducting zone which carries the gases and the respiratory zone where the exchange of gases between our blood and the alveoli occurs or the lungs occurs so this that is called the respiratory zone i hope you understood that okay the next slide shows the parts of the conducting zone what are the parts of the conducting zone you know here i discussed for you the conducting zone and what is conducting zone function so the parts of the conducting zone which really carry the which conduct the gases right so that is the nose the pharynx the larynx the trachea bronchus lobar bronchi segmental bronchi bronchioles and terminal bronchioles all these are the parts of the conducting zone and the next lecture we will start discussing about the first part of the conducting zone that is the nose and then we will go further forward and discuss each each and every part of the conducting zone and then the respiratory zone also so we will see about the anatomy of the respiratory system so i hope you enjoyed the lecture the first lecture was about the introduction and functions second lecture about the parts and the zones of the respiratory system and the parts of the conducting zone or these see you guys in the next lecture we will start discussion about the nose thank you so much